Hi, this is Carrie Christensen, the spiritual sex coach, and you may see behind me, I'm not really in my typical office. I want to show you where I am right now and see if you can guess where it is. So, are you ready? All right, take a walk with me. Do Looking out the window. Can you see where I'm at? Can you tell from some of these buildings? Here, I'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, Monte Carlo, behind that is the hotel. To the left of that is Mandalay Bay. You can see that pyramid. <gasps> mm, the Luxor heading over here through the window down there. MGM. Yeah, you figured it out. I'm here in Las Vegas. I'm on the Strip. The Las Vegas Strip. I'm in the Aria Hotel. 50 floors up. And this is our view. It's kind of an eyesore building. I don't know. Maybe you like it. I don't, I'm not really liking that building out our window, but we do have other views and things that we can look at. So anyway, let me put you back down here so you can see me. I'll get in place. Okay, here I am again. So anyway, I'm here in Las Vegas. And as I'm here in Las Vegas, I started to think about Las Vegas, right? And my husband and I went out last night to dinner and we were walking around and I was just like, oh my gosh. Okay, you hear the word Las Vegas and I know two things come to mind. The first is gambling, right? Every time we hear Las Vegas, oh, gambling, the casinos. And then the second thing that we think about, I know you think about it when you hear about Las Vegas, you think about sex, about all the prostitution that goes down on down here and has really, really, really given sex a bad name. Like every time we hear the word sex, I'm sure that's what conjures up in our mind is the prostitution side of it. And we're walking around last night and we're going to dinner. It's about eight o'clock here in Las Vegas time and they're out. By them, I mean the people handing out those little flyers, the little pamphlets with the pictures of women on it. And you know, these aren't, these aren't, how, how do I say? These aren't pamphlets that you want to pick up or that you want to take, and yet they are shoving them at you. You walk by and you've just got to, my husband and I were holding hands and my other hand was down by my side and I just had to walk by these people and through them and across their arms as they held them out to me. And I was just thinking like, wow, this is just, you could think it's really gross, nasty, disgusting. I can't believe they're doing this and blah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, we could get really in that space. But then as I thought about it, I just thought, oh, this is so sad. This is so heart-wrenching that this is what's going on in this part of the world primarily, is what we think of Las Vegas. And I would see these beautiful girls and you could tell, I mean, they're getting ready to work. And um, it really hit me that Satan truly has the market when it comes to sex. He rules the airways. He rules the videos. He rules the internet. He rules everything. Commercials, advertising, any, any um, thing you wanna buy, he's promoting with sex. And I just was thinking like, wow, out there in this big city, it's huge. The city's huge, casinos are huge. It, takes, it took me a half hour to walk across the street from the Aria. I'm not kidding, a half hour. So what's my point? My point in all this is it is time for God's way of sex to be blasted out through the airways. You know what? I'm sick and tired of Satan having control and him monopolizing the airway. And I think it is time. I don't think. I know. It is time for Christian married women, even Christian women, who have values and morals and understand that the act of marriage, that sex is to be reserved for the bonds of marriage and a committed relationship between a man and between a woman the way God designed it to be. He designed it to be that way even with our bodies. It's just, and it's the most amazing gift. And so I want you to think, okay, so here's my point. I want you to think, why has Satan totally and completely monopolized and distorted sex in this world? And I want you if, you, if you're brave enough, I would love for you to leave a comment below and share with me 
why you think sex is so huge a topic in this world and ask yourself are you ready to take a stand for what you know God has declared sex to be I'm, I'm talking to you Christian woman I'm talking to you don't you think it is about time that we stand up and declare what it is truthfully, boldly, no excuses. God doesn't excuse it. He doesn't say, you know, gosh, I'm really sorry, but it's kind of supposed to be, you know, this way. And he's, no, he says it is to be between a man and a woman who are married, who are committed to each other. That is the way sex is to be experienced. He declares it boldly and he knows. So leave your comment below as to why, why do you think sex is so prevalent and so distorted right now on this earth? And then be bold enough to take a stand and say, you know what? I'm not going to be silent on this anymore. I'm going to declare the truth that I know. Sex is to be between a man and a woman committed in the marriage relationship. I need you. God needs you to stand up and be bold and to declare his truth. Take a stand. We can do it. With God, we are a majority. I know that. I believe that. And I am going to stand in that power. And I would love for you to join me. Thank you.